Hi, welcome back. This is Kirsten from JK Fiber Arts, and today we are going to uh, spin this gorgeous CVM Rommeldale that I um, scoured and carded, and I have video up uh, of how I did that. Um, I did this so maybe a couple months before Tour de Fleece started, uh, but um, this uh, is a, a lamb. Uh, uh, fiber, uh, so it was the first shearing, and uh, the um, fleece is from Green County Wool, uh, and oh, it's really, really nice. I've already uh, cheated because I couldn't bear to wait, and I did the first <laughs> bobbin uh, single, and it is divine. Uh, so uh, I have all of this ready to go, uh, so let's get started. I am ready to spin this single. The, uh, if you remembered when I combed this, I did the, uh, I scoured the locks in place and I uh, tucked the uh, little tail into the top. That way I spin them all in the same direction so uh, it stays a truly um, worsted uh, prep. So we are going to spin from my little tail here and I have my little basket down here. And uh, I am on my uh, smaller a uh, whirl of the regular sized whirl, the, the smaller notch in there. Uh, and uh, I did already do a little tester. Uh, this, I guess I'll show you this before we get too far underway. Um, I went with a, a 22 single, um, and I am gonna three ply this, so I think I'm gonna end up, I, I know I said about a worsted weight, but I think it's probably gonna be more of an Aaron weight, we'll see. Um, but this is my tester here. And uh, I really like that. And that was with a 22. So we're gonna try to match that as we go along. And what I have learned, um, I have never spun um, a CVM before. This is my first time. It is very, very super springy and I absolutely love it. Uh, it's kind of like spinning around a uh, And um, the, uh, Staple length uh, was two and a half to three inches was what um, I, I uh, believe it was. I, I have it in the other video if you want to see it. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention when spinning the single uh, is about spinning with crimp. You know, when they say spinning with the crimp. Uh, so this is a very, very fine, fine fiber if you can see. It, it is a very fine crimp and it's really, really springy. Um, so it has a lot of loft to it. This would love to spin really, really thin, but I didn't want to spin it really, really thin because I wanted to um, do a sweater. I could have done a four ply, uh, but I decided to do it like this. So um, I have had to fiddle with the attention a little bit, but overall it's been, a very, very lovely, lovely spin. Um, it's just gorgeous. So we're gonna see if we can just match this 22. And the other thing is the amount of twist that's required on this. Um, and it, it just, oh, look how pretty that is. That's actually a little bit thick though. I need to make this a little thinner. So I think I need a little less um, tension on here. Little less draw and a little more twist. I think that will do it. And I am just holding this uh, fiber very lightly and I am doing a worsted spin, so I'm doing the backward draw here. I'm not doing a very long backward draw, just a nice slow, man, still too much draw. <laughs> there we go, that seems better. And uh, I know we just finished doing uh, woolen, uh, spinning woolen, but this is spinning woolen on a uh, worsted prep, so it's a little bit different. And we're gonna check this here in just a sec. So let's see what we have here. I still feel like I'm fighting this a little bit. I think I have too much draw. So we are right at 22, I like that. 22 the whole way and let's check our twist here 
Not bad, it needs a little more twist. So I still need to go into the orifice a little slower. So I need to take some of my draw off. You can see the difference here. The one on the right is my tester and the one on the left is the one I just did. And you can see how I don't have enough twist on this. Um, and that is uh, because it's pulling onto my bobbin too fast. So let's uh, fix it. Take off some twist. Now it's gonna hang around outside of the orifice a little bit longer. I'm not having that, that yank it out of my hand sensation so much. I'm not fighting my wheel is what I call that. And, uh, but I have enough uh, resistance here that I can um, draw this out pretty readily. You can see there a little bit of vegetable matter just fell onto my lap blanket and that happens, but that's good, it fell out there. I don't want it to be in my yarn. Oh, this is nice, gosh. This is like spinning butter. It is so soft. It's crazy awesome. All right, let's see what we have now. Again, still on that 22. We're getting closer. That is not enough twist. You see how I have that big poofy loop here at the bottom? That's not what I want, so I still need a little more twist. Or I need to treadle a little faster, so I'm just gonna stay with this same ply and I'm just going to add that little bit of extra twist and there we have it. And now we can compare it with that one and I think we are right there. Let's see if you can, easier with the black background probably. So the one on our left, I'm holding it upside down, that's the knotted end. <laughs> the one on the left is the uh, sample from the uh, first bobbin and the one on the right is the one that I just did. So I think they look uh, spot on there. So we are going to uh, stay at this draw. I think we have it. Here is a bobbin check-in on the first single and I love this. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. It's going to be amazing. Here we have the CVM Rommeldale uh, three singles. And we are ready to three ply. I am loving, loving, loving this spin. It is beautiful. Let's get this on the wheel. I'm getting ready to three ply this luscious single. And I'm using my Sonata. I thought about doing this on the um, the Eel Wheel Six, uh, the more the the e spinner that I recently got. Uh, but you know, I just kind of miss the. Uh, feel and the comfort of my actual spinning wheel um, without all the electric sound. Uh, but I, I mean, I do love that e-spinner and I'm going to use it a lot. Uh, but for this, I just felt like spinning it on here. I have more control, I think, over it because I can vary the speed of my feet and adjust everything. Um, this is my auto level winder, which uh, I have had some people ask about. Uh, and uh, this is from uh, Level Winding uh, Systems. This is um, wonderful. It, it moves the, uh, this is called a, a worm gear here, and this worm gear, which is a 3D printed, moves up and down, and it will advance my yarn as I spin, and I love it. Uh, I don't have to worry about stopping uh, to uh, move my hooks. And I will be plying in the uh, S direction here. Too much draw. All right. And let's just do a little check here with our angle fly. I see a nice gray zone here, some of the darker gray with the lighter gray. Um, right now we are about 30. Yeah, this is about 30. I don't know if I want it quite that tight, although my, my twist back is nice. I think maybe I'm gonna um, increase my draw a little bit so I have a little less twist. I, I think I want a little less on this one. But look at how pretty this is really good. When I three ply, I'm keeping my fibers as parallel as I can, side by side here, and I'm holding the yarn uh, with my back hand, uh, typically. 
I'm using, um, I'm keeping the fiber between, well, let me spin a little more here, between my thumb and index, my index and long, and my long and ring finger, like this. Make sure that my tension, I'm, I'm keeping a nice even tension here. Yeah, let's just see how this one looks. Yeah, that's better. I like that softer, a little bit softer of a apply. I don't want that much twists. What I had earlier was a little much for what I wanted. Yeah, this is much better. This is more like a 20. This is 20, 25. I like that better. And that's good. That just means I can uh, ply faster, right? <laughs> Let me get this onto the bobbin here. Oh, this is so pretty. I have really enjoyed this entire experience with this uh, CVM Rommeldale. Uh, the, the scouring went really well. Uh, the uh, you know, scouring with the locks in place worked well so that I have a truly worsted spin. Um, it's just been 100% fantastic. The spin oh, was so soft and sproingy and it really, really lent itself to a long draw. It was just a wonderful spin. And I'm loving the uh, variegated colors. When I first was uh, sorting the, the uh, fiber and the locks and deciding how I wanted to um, scour and prep, uh, and then again when I was combing, I was debating whether I wanted to mix the um, or separate the uh, gray, the you know the dark gray, the light gray from each other, and oops, well that was suboptimal. We can fix it though. <laughs> I thought I was pulling on the slub and I. Hold on it and broke it. There we go. There's a little wet wet there and that'll be good. Uh, so um, what I uh, was debating was whether or not to separate the gray into, you know, keep all the light together and all the dark together and just do everything separately and um, spin it separately as, you know, like a different color and for a different project. Uh, I'm really happy that I'm keeping it together. Uh, even when I was spinning the singles, I was kind of excited about the little bit of variation in color that I was getting. And now, if we uh, look onto the, the bobbin, even if we just look here, I mean, I love this. It's looking really cool. Maybe it'll look better on the black side. Let's see. Yeah, that looks better. Um, so you can see I'm getting this lovely, uh, subtle changes in the gray. And that's going to be throughout. So I'm going to end up with this really beautiful kind of heathered gray yarn, which I'm excited about. I do have a couple of little uh, slubby areas that I just got a little bit lazy. Uh, so uh, moving forward, when I was carding, I was trying to use every speck that I could. Um, I wanted as little waste as possible. And I did um, accept some of the fiber uh, that I was, you know, dizzing and combing that I should have just allowed it to go on to the hackle and just let it be waste and I, I tried to save it and I think that's why I have a couple of uh, little uh, neppy uh, spots and that is my fault because I should have just accepted the waste and then as I went along I, I realized that and so, you know, the rest of it is all really wonderful and smooth like this. Uh, it's just that I was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to waste any, but you have to accept the waste when you do something on a hackle. It's just, it's a fact of life. I'm just going to continue on here with this beautiful heathered gray yarn. And we'll do um, a little bobbin check in here in a second. And then uh, we'll come back from, you know, my favorite part, taking it off the nitty naughty. And then we'll see our final yarn. And we have here, this is, sorry, I'm always tilting it to see us so I can see it, but it is right between 15 and 30, I think. So we're pretty good. Hi, Nadine. Oh, there's a guest appearance by Nadine. Hello. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. Not up on there, though. No. Nadine, off, off. Good girl. That was... That was more of a bowl of china, so, and she's gone. <laughs> Thank you for that visit, Nadine. That was awesome. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's see here. Now we're ready to do our test, our flyback test. Okay, let's check our angle of fly. Oh dear, here she comes again. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. This looks wonderful. Hi Nadine, you wanna come here and be on camera? Come here Nadine, come here. Wanna say hi, hi to the people? Hi, I don't know if you're on camera. Yeah, all right, now you're in my way. You're on my wheel, baby. Nadine. Nadine. Oh my gosh, this dog is all muscle. She does not budge. Take a step back. Uh, uh, you're, you're impeding my progress. Okay. Good. Thank you for coming by to visit. I know I called you over and I told you to get out of my way. I'm sorry. All right. Look out. Now I gotta go. All right. Thank you, Nadine. Bye. She is a super cute dog. You may have noticed that um, my uh, sweet old girl, uh, Lucy, uh, who has made cameos just sort of walking through lots of my uh, videos, uh, she had to uh, cross the rainbow bridge to a puppy heaven about a month and a half ago, and it's been very quiet and lonely. So when my friends were uh, going on vacation for 10 days and they asked if we could watch their dog. I jumped at the chance. Uh, so now at least I have a, a puppy around that I can uh, talk to. <laughs> Although Nadine is not as old as Lucy was and she uh, was is not broken in with fiber. So she does not like lay by my spinning wheel or hang out with me. She's uh, just paces around a lot. So I think um, that hopefully she'll settle in and uh, we'll have a nice 10 days. This is only the second day, so. And last night was not the most fun night ever. It was like having a puppy again. She, you know, in a, in a different house and not with her family. So she's been very stressed out. And uh, hopefully uh, she's going to calm down and be comfortable. And uh, maybe you'll see her in a couple more of my videos uh, over the next week or so. Here we have a bobbin check-in. And I am loving this. This is going to be a beautiful three ply, and I think it's going to be close to a worsted weight. It might be a little bit thicker, but uh, I think it, it'll probably be a nine. We'll see. I will see you back here in just a bit, and we'll um, see what this looks like coming off the nitty knotty. Look at this beautiful final yarn. It is so pretty. I love, so uh, I don't know if you saw the first video when I was prepping this and scouring it uh, you know, before I even combed it and I was debating about separating all of the uh, colors of gray. And then I decided that was a lot of extra work and I kind of thought it would look cool if it all just blended together. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. You can see I have this wonderful heathered effect throughout. When this is knit up, this is going to look so wonderful. There's going to be this like gentle variegation. Uh, and um, it is just, oh, I love how this feels. It is really, really nice. It's next to skin wonderfulness. Um, the only thing I think that I would change is uh, it did end up being an Aran weight yarn, which is great because I can knit something fast with it. Um, but I think that I would like to do something a little less thick um, so that I can make some more of it. So I think uh, next time I will uh, spin much thinner uh, and do probably maybe even a like a 30 or a 32, maybe even thinner, maybe close to a 40 and then potentially even four ply. I don't know. We'll see how what I feel like. But this, uh, it did, it uh plumped up a little um, and it has a lot of um, elasticity to it which I love 
I love when yarn has memory like that. You can see how easy it is for me to stretch and it snaps right back. This is so pretty. I'm very thrilled about this and I cannot wait. Now I'm really motivated to comb the rest of this because I have nothing left to spin <laughs> of this. Uh, so um, I will uh, get cracking on that. I will definitely uh, get some more of this next year and spin it again. This is just fantastic. CVM Rommeldale for the win. Until next time, spin happy.